Hey, what's up everyone, Jared here. So let me start by getting this out of the way first. The Ergodox Easy is not only one of the most expensive keyboards on the market, it's also by far the most customizable keyboard on the market. So let me explain. The Ergodox isn't a new concept. I'm sure some of you have heard about the Ergodox do-it-yourself keyboard kit, where you're sent a kit with all the build materials to solder all the doodads to the circuit board yourself. Well, what if you don't know how or even want to solder doodads to a circuit board? Well, that's where the Ergodox EZ comes in. So for starters, it comes in two colors, black and white, and you have the option while ordering to go for blank or printed keycaps. You also have the option to choose the new Shine model that I have with me here, which has some RGB LED lights on the bottom of both boards with settings to change the color, brightness, and animations. And while placing your order, you're given the choice between seven different mechanical switches, all with different characteristics. So for instance, uh, you can choose to have foot stomping clickety clacky switches, which is what I went with and absolutely love the sound, or you can choose to type in silence. Maybe you want a nice tactile feel when the key switch is actuated, or maybe you want a nice smooth linear feel. You can also choose the amount of key travel and how much pressure in grams it takes to actuate the key switches. I mean, how much more customizable can it get? Well, all the keys are user replaceable. So if you go to a site like pimpmykeys.com, you can pick and choose a new set of one by one keys to replace the existing ones while leaving the peripheral keys blank to customize and never worry about having mislabeled keys, which is pretty sweet. And something that makes the Ergodox Easy unique from the original do-it-yourself kit design is the removable multi-positional legs for tenting and angling both boards to fit your comfort needs. Oh, and the wrist rests come with the Easy as well, so that's a nice little touch. But diving a little further into the customization spirit of the Easy, key switches and keycaps aren't the only things that are customizable. This board comes with 32 layers of fully customizable layouts. Think about that for a sec. 32 layers of customizable layouts. Yeah. So let's say you're a hardcore gamer and you play multiple different first person shooters, each with their own unique keyboard controls. You could set up a custom layout for each game, or maybe you are a coder or developer. Think about how much more productive you could be by setting up a layer for each coding language you're using. With all the characters you need only one keystroke away instead of having to contort your hands to type those special characters. So I guess the side benefit is less hand fatigue. Me personally, I game on my Windows machines, but do everything else on my Mac. So I have two layers, one for Mac and one for Windows. And because there's no proprietary software to install on your computer, you just configure your layouts and then it's just plug and play with any machine you're using. And configuring the layouts and layers is stupid simple. All you do is go to the Ergodox Easy web-based configurator, set up your layouts and layers, and then press compile. Once done compiling, you simply download the file and then using a super lightweight and simple flashing tool, you just drag and drop the file into the tool and then use a paper clip to hit the reset key on the board which is very conveniently located at the top right corner of the right hand board and it'll flash the new layout file within two seconds and just like that you've got your new setup. And I'm really glad it's that easy because it does take a while to get a feel for what you want and where you want it. Like it took me a couple of days to decide the best place to put the shift and control keys. So whenever I wanted to test a new key location, I'd take 30 seconds to reconfig and flash the new layout. So by now you're probably wondering how much it costs. Well, it's a $300 keyboard. So no, this keyboard is not for everyone. It's really for a more specific demographic. This keyboard is for people who either have hand fatigue, uh, truly need something this customizable for productivity purposes, or for hardcore gamers. Having said that, you probably want to feel confident in your purchase, so put your mind at ease, because after having a very lengthy chat with Erez, the CEO of Ergodox Easy, he explained to me the level of quality control that goes into these boards. For example, these boards aren't manufactured in a plant in China. They're manufactured in Taiwan in an office building with a giant robot machine and a room full of hands-on workers and testers who literally hold each key switch up to their ear to listen for the proper sound it should make and then once the key switch is installed in the board they use a bloody stethoscope to make sure the sound is still consistent. Personally I think this keyboard is a bit more than what I need. I mean it's a phenomenal product but it's just too much for me. Uh, using the Ergodox truly does feel like learning a keyboard all over again, so it'll take some time to get used to and memorize where you placed all your keys. And because there's two cables to connect the boards, 
for very good reason, I might add. Instead of the one with most other keyboards, cable management might itch your OCD as it does mine. But if you can move past those, for lack of better words, complaints of mine, uh, you'd be hard pressed to find a better keyboard for your individual needs. But that about does it for this one. As always, I'll have a link in the description for pricing and availability. I'll also be lingering in the comments for a bit if you guys have any questions or just wanna chat. If you like the video, show me some like button love. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos every week. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.